So, uh, J.J. Puffin stuff, or McGruffin, or Dr Drug Stoner McGruffin, or whatever the heck the one troll's name is, it's obviously J.J. Stoner, uh, wanted to let me know that, you know, I have an obsession with any woman that will talk to me. This is not true. I actually don't get obsessed with really any women. Uh, I was uniquely concerned about a certain woman, okay? And unfortunately, what happened there is... It turned out to be I was getting scammed, and I'm starting to believe my computer nerd friend that says she was uh, catfishing me from the beginning, and maybe it, she never was my friend. I mean, after all, she stated a gazillion times, regardless of how much evidence I have, regardless of how much mutual friends of mine say that we were friends, she stated we were never friends. So I, I guess we never were friends. Uh, that must be what, what it was the whole time. She was catfishing me for these people the whole time, and the whole trolling effort, she was the one either orchestrating it or involved in it from the beginning. Uh, but no, I'm not obsessed with women. Not any woman that will talk to me. Many women talk to me. Every day, women talk to me. Uh, I don't get, uh, I'm not attracted to most women. I do have a geek fetish. I have a fetish for nerdy girls. When I find a nerdy girl that's interested in longevity, oh my god, that's excellent. Or interested in nutrition, or interested in medicine, or interested in biology, that's my thing. And then what I do is I do whatever I can to make sure that that young lady knows that I'm interested in them, and hopefully they understand that some things are worth risks in life. Uh, sometimes it's worth a little bit of a risk to find somebody that really cares about you or that, that, to start something that could blossom into something that matters. Or even just to have a very good friendship. Friendships aren't very good anymore in these, this day and age. Uh, so even just to have a very good friendship, sometimes it's worth the time to take a little bit of a risk. So, yeah, I mean, as when I'm doing uh, weird, only by today's standards, only by today's standards. 20 years ago, I would be seen as a romantic person. Now I'm seen as a freak. So that's about what it boils down to with this. So, no, I'm not concerned about what people think. Why am I explaining this? Well, just in case a certain someone subscribed to my channel, I want them to know, you know, however they decide, because uh, obviously I don't think that they're getting a hold of me at this point in time. Uh, and that's fine. I understand there's certain risks, and especially with this level of trolling, and as I had told them, uh, you know, once they saw what my internet presence looks like, uh, they're not going to want to talk to me. But I assure them, I assure them that my internet presence is not me, and I have people that can verify who I am, and what I am, and what I'm about. And it's not what's on the internet. I promise them that. And uh, some things are worth taking risks, and sometimes having a little bit of lunch or brunch might be the best thing the doctor ordered. No, I'm just joking. But, you know, regardless, sometimes a friendship is worth taking risks for. And, uh, look, if you're watching, I found you very, very, very interesting. I thought you were extremely interesting. I find it very interesting that you even know I mean, you said it's because your dad knew about Dr. Hoffer and the treatment of schizophrenia uh, with niacin and things like that, but you know a lot too. And like I said, the only reason I know more than you is I'm twice your age. So you inter I'm interested in you, at least as a friend, if not more, and I would love to do something with you. And I'm sure you'll like my car. Nice leather seat, I'm telling you. Nice leather seat. Beautiful leather seat. <laughs> anyway. Uh, some things in life are worth taking risks for, and if you really want somebody to talk to that can understand where you're coming from, I know that with me, when I have someone that can understand what I'm saying and where I'm coming from and what I mean when I speak, it is fantastic. It's the most amazing thing ever, because people that can understand anything on an adult level anymore seem to be very rare, and that's all for this video.